Hello everyone. This is Teacher Kathy. Here is a summary of the key ideas and concepts that we discussed in Topic 1. Here are the key concepts discussed in Topic 1. Intuitive definition of the limit. When we say the limit of f of x as x approaches a is equal to l, we mean that, as x gets close to a, the function value also gets close to l. The limit of a function f of x describes the behavior of the function as it gets close to a particular x value. It does not necessarily give the value of the function at x. We also discussed that the limit of a constant as x approaches a is a constant. Also discussed are the one-sided limits. Remember that for the limit of a function to exist, its left-hand and right-hand limit must exist and that they should be equal. That value will be the limit of that function. Also discussed are infinite limits from the left and infinite limits from the right. The concepts on two-sided infinite limits were also discussed. Some basic limit results that you should remember. The limit of sine theta as theta approaches zero is zero. The limit of cosine theta as theta approaches zero is one. The limit of sine theta over theta as theta approaches zero is one. The limit of 1 minus cosine theta over theta as theta approaches 0 is 0. Note that if the limit of a function at a point does not exist, it is still possible that limits from the right and from the left at that point may exist. Also remember that if the limits of a function from the left and right exist and are equal, then the limit of the function is that common value. The following are the limit laws that you should remember. Also keep in mind that, you can evaluate the limit of a function by factoring and cancelling, by multiplying by a conjugate or by simplifying a complex fraction. On continuity of a function, three conditions must be satisfied for a function to be continuous. First, the function f of x should be defined at that point a. Second, the limit of the function f of x as x approaches a, must exist. Third, the value of the function at that point must be equal to the value of the limit at that point. Otherwise, it is discontinuous. If the function is discontinuous, the continuity can be essential or removable. It is removable, if the limit exists and not equal to the value of the function at that point, but the function value can be redefined to make them equal. Consider the following function. Notice that the limit of the absolute value of x over x as x approaches 0, does not exist. It is also clear, that the function is not continuous and that the discontinuity is essential. Here is an activity that you can do. Using the graph, find each limit or explain why the limit does not exist. Here's the reference. https colon slash slash openstacks.org slash details slash books slash calculus dash volume dash one.